good good day brothers and sisters good afternoon everyone for those of you who live outside the united states if it is morning over there good morning uh today's date is uh tuesday march 1st 2022 uh is what an unfortunate day and uh, i want to remind everyone today is also my son birthday and uh, on behalf of uh, my entire family i want to wish uh, Boston, the Sayati, Iran Omigo, a happy birthday. Uh, God bless you. That being said, uh, as we all know, uh, this war that is going on in Ukraine, it is time for everyone to speak one voice. Uh, what are the voice? Is to help tell the old world, uh, the leaders, to stop this war and then stop uh, President Vladimir Putin now. And uh, we all should pray for the good people of Ukraine. Uh, we are aware that uh, some Nigerians were stranded, some Africans were stranded over there, and uh, the information is going everywhere. But meanwhile, I want everyone to go ahead and share this video. Uh, thank you so much. I want you all to share. I'm Vladimir Kliska, and I'm addressing the entire world to stop this war that Russia has started just today. Civilians were shot by the rockets with special operations, civilians getting killed. And it's happening in the heart of Europe. There's no time to wait because that's going to lead into the humanitarian catastrophe. You need to act now to stop Russian aggression with anything you can have now in an hour or by tomorrow is going to be too late please get into action now don't wait act now stop this war we are in a queue where people are waiting to get their weapons to fight the Russian invaders. There is no reason to believe that they're going to stop anytime soon. And their objective clear, clearly, at least to me, seems to be the occupation of my entire country and uh, the destruction of everything that I love. I'm just a regular civilian. I have basically nothing to do with war or any other thing like it. And I, I wouldn't really want to participate in, in anything like this, but I don't really have any choice because this is my home. The motivation is simple. It's better than sitting at home and waiting for something to come to you. And who is not us? The when I uh, heard the uh, explosions, uh, I decided that uh, I am ready. I am an adult woman, I am healthy. Uh, and, uh, так, наразі, ну, виходячи з того, що ми прив'язані до конкретного району Києва, ми готуємось саме до вуличних боїв, нам розповідають, як правильно себе поводити в команді, в поодинці. Люди тільки йдуть і підтримують, тільки хвалять, і щоб хтось переживав за це, що ми зброю. Я за сутки останні це. Наоборот, чим більше людей зараз українців всі зброю, тим спокійніше буде спати. Так, ліву руч. Командир крок вліво, кроком руч. Що за Окей, guys, uh, you all heard that. Uh, I want everyone to go ahead and share this video. Uh, let's hear from our Nigerian 17 years euro. A lot of people have sent me this video. So, I decided to put it on air. I want you all to be patient and listen to her. Uh, we are in a queue. Uh, we're going to bring the video where people are waiting to get me. their weapons to fight the Russian invaders. There is no reason to believe that they're. Okay, we're going to bring the video right now. Nigeria. So, please share this life, tell the government, let them do what they should do, 
and save people. We here, we are trying our best to save our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, and our fathers here in this land. I myself am volunteering this for people, just to show the love I have for people. So, if you're actually in the war zone, which is Akim and Kiev, I advise you guys to move to the safe zone. You can come to Lviv or you can come to Tempe. I'm actually breathing like this just because the elevators are shut down as well. Sure. She said, oh, but I'm not a Ukrainian, so I should leave. You don't have plus de bénéfique aux Ukrainiens. I'm like, we're humans too. I met Joanna while I was walking towards the border crossing between Poland and Ukraine. She's 17 years old from Nigeria, and she's one of the many African students that found themselves trapped in Ukraine when the Russian invasion started. This is what she says happened to her as she was fleeing the war. So you arrived with this? Yeah. I'm an African. A Nigerian precisely studying in VN Karazin National University Kharkov, Ukraine. I'm studying medicine and and I'm a first year medical student. Yeah. At first I was I wasn't seeing the need to leave because um there was a time Putin Russia actually gave a date for the war. It got so serious there were bombings in Kharkov, my city. We had to hide in underground bunkers for our safety. We could hear bomb sounds. We weren't sure of the next second, the next minute. And then there was chaos everywhere, so I just had to leave. I've never gone through something like that, something close to that. I booked a taxi to take me to the Poland border. He collected a whole lot of money for me. He was supposed to drop me a medica, but then he did not. He said, no, just walk down a bit and you'll see the Poland border. And then we started walking thinking, okay, we are close to the Poland border. I mean, we had to walk the whole day. Not even the whole day, throughout the night, we were very cold, we were hungry, we couldn't sleep at all. Even if I wanted to, it was just too cold to sleep, I was shivering. Then you arrived at the, the border patrol uh, between Ukraine and Poland, and what happened to you there? Can you explain to me? Uh, when I got there, I don't know, I... I... I would say I didn't like the experience there. They just kept us there for no reason, for I don't know why. And they were letting other Ukrainians go. We've been, we were there for like five hours more, and then a Ukrainian just came. Like, she didn't even need to ask or anything. She just passed. Like, once they see a Ukrainian coming, they even hit us to leave the way, like hit us and like, leave, 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 leave and let her pass and I mean, the fact that we are not in our country doesn't mean that, that we are not humans I'm not saying they should let Ukrainians pass, but I'm like let everybody pass, like we are all going to find a refuge, so let us go Joanna says she eventually managed to cross the border with a group of Ukrainian women. After I spoke to her, I met with dozens of other African students who also made it to Poland and had a similar statement. When we heard about the attack, the bombs and everything, we knew that, okay, this is real and it is time to leave. Meanwhile, it was already too late because some of us had had flight that day. Flights were cancelled. Well, in the train, a lady just saw me and told me, me to get out of the train for no reason. The train we got in together. We walked for eight good hours to get to the border. So when we get to the border, 
they just pack blacks like they pack us at one place for more than three hours we are just standing there and i asked her why do i have to leave the train she said they only let children and women into the train and i asked her am i a man i'm also a woman she said oh but i'm not a ukrainian so i should leave and i was like this train doesn't belong to you. This is the government train, and it wants people to get to the border with this train. And she was like, she's a Ukrainian, and it is a government, so she has the right to be on the train as she get down. They left us outside. People were crying, begging them. They don't even open the door for anybody. They leave us outside under that cold for two days before they can open the border for us. Arrivé au niveau de la frontière. Les, les, la police euh, euh, de l'Ukraine décidait que tous euh, les choses, les Ukrainiens soient évacués avant que les, euh, les Africains soient aussi évacués. Donc euh, ça donnait plusieurs bagarres au niveau de la frontière parce qu'il y avait une accumulation d'Africain au niveau de la frontière. Ukraine is home to tens of thousands of African students studying engineering or medicine. Amid the chaos, Polish authorities said that third country nationals would be allowed to enter the country. So you still have a lot of travel to do? Yeah, I do. And how do you feel about the idea that it's not done yet? I mean, if you said... Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I want to appeal to everyone, if today is the first day you are watching our channel, go ahead and subscribe. We give credit to Brute uh, that bring this video uh, for us. And uh, if today is the first day, don't forget to hit the not notification bell button whenever we are on live. You'll be notified and follow us on uh, Facebook, uh, People's Freedom Movement, hashtag enough is enough. And a YouTube channel, uh, we are on Twitter and uh, Instagram, Mega Comrade Clement. Uh, follow us. We're going to talk about this uh, Ukrainian hero. And uh, we are going to address this issue concerning uh, this uh, innocent uh, uh, girl who is in Ukraine. She was studying, 17 years old girl, uh, which uh, I applaud her family. It's not easy as of 17 years old, for her to be uh, in university studying already in America, yes, yeah, she will still be in a high school by now. So that being said, there is this a hero, a champion. Uh, let me bring his picture right here for everyone to know. Oh. Okay, so, I'm gonna bring a, let me just bring his video. He's the one speaking right now. You can see. I'm Vladimir Klitschko and I'm addressing the entire world to stop this. He war left all the that money Russia he has. Started. Him and his brother. Because today, civilians. They went to their country. Shot with the rockets, with special and operations, for civilians their getting killed. We want everyone to pray for them. He's a multi-millionaire. Of Europe. A champion. There's no time to wait because that's going so, to a lot of people need to learn into the this. humanitarian uh, we want them to know that we are praying for them you need to act now uh, to and, uh, stop we are praying for his brother we are Russian praying for aggression. the people of Ukraine we With are going to talk about this you uh, can have African now stranded blacks in an uh, hour uh, or by tomorrow it's going to be too late please get you into know? action now don't wait. Don't wait. Act now. I think his name Stop is uh, Joshua. War. I don't know. Uh, he was a heavyweight uh, champion. Look at his picture right here. He's right here. So right now he's in Ukraine. He's fighting for his country. We don't know much about Ukraine, but I know the president of the United States is addressing uh, the United States today, uh, joint session of Congress today. So believe we're going to have an update tomorrow after the 
president uh, address of the nation in the United States. Uh, we are going to be having, uh, having more updates by tomorrow. As we speak, it's day six in the world. Our question now is that, let me remove this picture so that we can talk about this. Okay, if you are in Ukraine, I believe in a, one Nigerian guy who is also trying to help others. I'm going to play the audio. I want you all to listen. Just listen to him. If you are in Ukraine right now, you're looking for help. There's this uh, Nigerian guy. Let's play the audio. Hey, guys. Right now, I'm just back home. So I'm auditioning with the situation in Ukraine. My name is Tolu Lopesho, aka Carlos King. Here in Ukraine, at night, we have to switch off the lights of the whole building. And that's where I'm actually coming from, from this place. So, and then if you don't have documents, you will be unable to pass through the border in order for you to reach uh, Poland, where they can extract you to Nigeria. So please share this life. Tell the government, let them do what they should do. Let them save people. We here, we are trying our best to save our brothers and our sisters, our mothers and our fathers here in this land. I myself, I'm volunteering this for people, just to show the love I have for people. So if you're actually in the war zone, which is Akim and Kiev, I advise you guys to move to the safe zone. You can come to Lviv or you can come to Timothy. I'm actually breathing like this just because the elevators are shut down as well. So I have to climb the stairs just to come back home to give you this update. And those of you who are stranded, probably maybe it's something just happened. You know what's gonna happen? Let's just see how we can actually help each other. See, nobody's paying to do this. If you know you're stranded, so, tweet because all banks are shut down, we can actually generate some cash for you. But you have to bring back in there just if you need cash. We can know how to get to you. We can know how to reach you guys. Keep sharing this video. Let them know. Let them do the necessary things, man. Seriously, it's getting hotter. Let them know. So, if you're in Nigeria, you are in Ukraine, uh, you will have the opportunity. I don't know. He just said it. Uh, he didn't say his address. I have never been in Ukraine. Uh, whatever you can do, we advise you for you to go home now. Uh, go home or go to the nearest country. If you are there, you are waiting for Nigeria Embassy. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna be there forever. So, uh, if you know any family that are in Ukraine, they should head to the border. First of all, we don't know why they did not leave at the beginning when this war was about to start. You see, the president of the United States went ahead and rescued his, his citizen. Tell all Americans to leave before the war even began. All Americans in Ukraine was advised, leave now. That when the war start, American's government will not be able to rescue you. And a lot of Americans, they left. And United States government, let them know that if you are in Ukraine during the war, no American government will help you. But that is the problem we have in Nigeria. The inability to be able to listen to common instruction. Imagine, look at now, I'm on live video. If I don't say share, 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 I will keep repeating it, repeating it every goddamn minute. They will just come here, they will watch, they will just be there like zombie and be watching. Some will be insulting me and some will be praising me. They will just be there until I will say share every day. That is why. Nigeria is backward today. Nigeria is the most populated black race country in the whole world. But yet, we have nothing to show for it. They are calling Nigeria the giant of Africa in population. But yet, a lot of Nigeria are really, really dumb. Their brain is completely is froze. You have to defrost it every day for them to listen. Now, they are, I mean, put yourself in the Ukrainian shoe. We should not always throw racism, racism, racism. Anyway, the video, a lot of video have went viral 
and uh, the United States, uh, Hollywood, they have spoken about it, and the government of Ukraine, they are doing their best to accommodate other citizens. If you are in Nigeria, and God forbid there is war between Nigeria and Cameroon, who are you going to rescue first? Are you going to go rescue a Ghanaian first, or a Sierra Leone, or a white man before Nigeria? Let's speak the truth. Let us speak the truth. We should not blame the Ukraine. The people brain is just is for them to run. They want to go. And here you have a, a black, a black uh, or whatever it is. Because the white people, they don't know. They don't know the difference. The polar, the Poland citizens, they are almost the same. Look at the Russian military today. The radio that the, the, the intercepted leak uh, transmission said that. Uh, uh, they were complaining to the Russian government, I mean, to their commander, that they don't know who to shoot. The Russian military are over there, but they don't know who to shoot. That they look like them, they look like the Russian. They don't know, they cannot tell the difference. So, how, how are they going to know this one is from Hungary, this one is for the... But you as a black man, as a Nigeria, immediately when I'm working in the anywhere in the United States, if I see a Nigerian person, you don't need to even speak before I tell you that one by my brother, that one by my sister. I know them by face. If I see a Ghanaian, I can differentiate a Ghanaian from even a mile distance. So a lot of people rush to throw race and, on, on everything. I believe this has nothing to do with race. Imagine, I'm just saying it now. Look at we are we are people freedom movement is one of the biggest, biggest anti-corruption, anti-fraud, YouTube platform and Facebook. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, people freedom movement is the biggest anti-corruption platform in Africa. But yet, look at it. Every day we come here, share, share, share. Share video every day. You have to say it. You will write and write and write. You, these are grown people, grown men and grown women that tell their children, hey, I, I, I'll be telling you to stop doing this. You are not listening. If I can kill my fans sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I would have been flogging them one by one for not listening. I wish I can kill them. Or, uh, my, my fans and followers, some of them, but not all of them, I would have flopped them one by one because they don't listen. And that, we all, that is the fact. At the end of this video, look at the video we did last night. I did not sleep. I came out. I was the only one that shared that video. The video of a prophet, uh, prophet Godwin, I, 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 I or whatever. I was the only one that shared that video. A lot of you will just come and look at it and go even to like this video or to follow. Look at the video I posted. Let me check that video. It's good to be honest. Because we are very quick in throwing racism in everything. A lot of people are sending me this video. Hey, pa, hey you are there supporting Ukraine. You are there saying that the people of Ukraine are going through a lot right now. We all need to come together and preach peace. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Apostle Dr. Kasi Chukuwa. God bless you. God bless you. I, I'm going to call you when I get to the office today. So, that being said, these people, you remember even Dr. Kasi said it. He said there are people that came to look at you. They did not like you. Uh, wait, let me look for that video. Let me play. You know, that is why, like a uh, our brother, Apostle Dr. Kasi, is one of the, not one of the, right now is the favorite apostle that, that have huge follower now that he don't even know. Because he's speaking the mind of the less privileged. He's the only ap uh, apostle that is speaking the mind of the less privileged, the, the mind of the poor people. So that is why we all love him. You see me, I don't hide it. Whenever I see him, I acknowledge him. But some of you that are not educated, even though you are not
Yes. Oh, oh, that, that is not the one. Oh. Okay, I think we are back on air. We don't know what happened. So, even our brother said it. Let's go. Not everybody that view your status. Not everybody that view your profile get to admire you. Yes, sir. Yeah, there are people who get to view your profile to know if you are depreciating or not. I don't know if that English is called. It's true. That is the fact. There are people who come here to come and see if Iran Amigo is depreciating or if Iran Amigo uh, channel is going down. You know? Not everybody that come here, but if I don't come online, you see them. I have the largest, one of the the most, let me tell you, organic follower in the whole Nigeria. No politician can come and say, I have given Iran Omigo one penny or one naira for bribe. <laughs> so some of you that came here to watch me if i'm depreciating it is you that will depreciate in jesus mighty name everybody type in me imagine 27 minutes i'm only having 300 and something follower so i i, I might need to work on this video you need to work on it because by now i should be having 3005 i have the i we are only for me uh social media presence 24 bit which other person that are able to gather 7,000 plus viewer at a time we are only three or four i was number one not even saga i only do political saga i don't do individual saga so if you come to this page to come and create problem in my Facebook page or YouTube channel, that problem by the power of of the miracle of Red Bible, by the power of the God of Apostle Doctor Kasi, I pronounce problem to your entire life in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone should type Amen. Don't forget, I'm a member of uh, Doctor Apostle Kasi Church. I'm a member. Very soon they will start. They will start praying for me. Very soon, all night prayer. That is what is going to be happening. Because I am tired of you people. I am tired. Share video you cannot share. Tag your people you cannot tag. Call your friend you cannot. Huh? I have to go to work in about a few minutes. Obama, I get your book. You can imagine. Let me tell you, if I told you what happened yesterday, you will not believe it. You know, the God I serve, like I always tell people, nobody can fight truth and win. Truth will always prevail. At the end of the day, truth will come out. So for those of you who came here and watch if I'm depreciating or appreciating, it is you that will depreciate in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, Not everybody that view your status. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not everybody that view your profile uh -huh. get to admire you. That's true. Uh -huh. There are people who get to view your profile. Don't know if you are depreciating or not. I don't know if that English is correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. to know your latest condition. Yes. They came to know your recent condition. <laughs> My name is Apostle Dr. Cassie. Yes. Anybody that come to your status, <laughs> anybody that come to your profile, <laughs> to come and check you <laughs> with evil motive. <laughs> If I hear your emanation, so you can see not only Ranobigo is experiencing this, 
You know, yesterday I posted a Russian video. Very soon I will not be talking about Edo or Nigeria. If you are not careful, if you people are not sure, because the more I talk about Edo, Nigeria, they, they draw me behind. May God not let them, that, that name Nigeria, draw you behind in Jesus' mighty name. I want to show you something. This is when I talk about Russia. I just put it together. It's not even up to one day, one day, one day. 1.2 million people have seen that video. Less than 24 hours, uh, let's say 24 hours. 1.2 million. That is to be precise. 1.185. Let me screenshot it and put it right there. All I just did talk about putting, and that is it. That's it. Video that is not even up to one minute. Bring people on. See how, see how many people this video don't reach. If you there, I make you see. See how? May, may I show you the date? Less than 24 hours. You see, I'm huh? one day. See right there. Hold on. I'm with my wife. Oh, what? What? But you see, huh? You see that one point one one million one hundred and eighty five thousand. For 24 hours. Tell me, anybody. Very soon we run away from these people because may God not let what you love draw you behind or what you love kill you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, doctor. Nigerian people, they don't like truth. Almost 90% of them. Look at Apostle Dr. Cassie now. <laughs> there was a video, one, one pastor, prophet, covered. I love I said they don't know the people where they where it start for okay, uh, Cassie. Apostle Dr. Cassie, he don't generate fans, global fans. Wherever any country he go today, he will be welcome as the innocent poor citizen advocate in Christ. Very soon we will ordain him into our struggle. We need men of God to join us in that. You know, into our struggle, the poor struggle, which I am the, the king. Not be all this they make sure when you go to eat for year, eat for year. I made them quack, you know, the other one at the year of Amiga. <laughs> Our Bobo never do. He don't do. Mm -hmm. That's why I talk Irish. So, my people, let me tell you these Nigerian people, if they see say you don't grow, they go find one problem when they go throw on you. To draw you down, maybe take you climb. May God not let anyone use you climb in this year in Jesus' mighty name, including me. So, our brothers and sisters who are in Ukraine, please leave that country without delay. Some of you are still watching Facebook. I do not want you to be sending me rubbish video because if the Almighty America can pay their citizens to live. I wonder what you were waiting for in Ukraine. Why well, we are used to sit it down? So you allow the Ukrainian citizen to lead their people and say, black man, black woman, come and enter. Come and enter because the God you serve is bigger than the God the Ukrainian serve. Hell no. It's not going to happen. God damn. As soon know, they will pack their people. So all this uh, con kangaroo talk, what are they do for social media? I'm be quiet. Let us help the good people of Ukraine. If you are in Nigeria, you are Ghanaian, you are Senegalese, and you are shouting, they not let you enter. Why are you not carry weapon? Why can't you carry a fight? Did you not see a Russian champion, a Russian champion? More than 20,000 Ukrainians who are in America, who are in Canada, they are in Europe, I mean, in, a, uh, 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 in Western Europe, they flew back home to go and defend their land. But you, as an African, you don't want to fight, the, fight for the place you will enjoy. You want to run. And you hear there's a decree that any man that is above 18 to 60 years will not be allowed to live. And you, 
<laughs> Osho free guy, Nigeria, you know, as we do one. Oh boy, how far? You come out 22 years strong, you get muscle. Ukraine, they see you, you they run, you want to come on. But when peace day, you go come, you want to come enjoy. Is that fair, my people? It's not fair. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you believe in. This struggle has been in this struggle for five years plus now. For the last six years, I have not stepped my foot in the land of Edo because of this struggle. I have to look at my face. Born. Born. Roman saw when I was protesting for the same these people. Protesting against the deportation, Nigeria and European bilateral deportation bill. I know how many times I almost collapsed in that sun in Europe that day. Only God saved my life. They foresee that my mama, now my papa, second wife, or third wife, now he me. So let us learn how to accept the truth. Not until we learn how to accept the truth. Why would Nigerian citizen be a body or a body to Ukrainian uh, government? Is Nigeria not richer than Ukraine? When it's time for election, all of them will come out and will put the wrong person there. We are telling you now to call Osimba to come and run. You people are not doing it. A man that can, that can change Nigeria, Osimba you are not talking. You people are sitting down. Your father are there. But now you are in Ukraine age, 17 years. You are not, you are not, the whole world is not, it's not, it's not at peace because of the way you were treated. Thank God you are, you are out of Ukraine. So I am telling you, we need to change our mindset. Some Nigerian myopic mind, they cannot see beyond what they think. That is very, very bad. Oza must move forward. Yo, Oza, I see you. I see your hand. Well, God bless you. I acknowledge your presence. God bless you. So, uh, before I, I'm going to post a video later that I will do. It's almost time for me to go to work. You all know I love working. So, I will post that video and I'm going to see how many people that is going to share it. And uh, I want to thank everyone who follow us for these few days. After I successfully work on a uh, work on uh, removing uh, removing all the all the hacking and whatever uh, that they, they put on my on my network. It was Abato Baze and uh, the governor. You know, see Abat Mata now. He was the the of God. The people of Ophia, this now Denise when I campaign against, and I promise it that 2019. I say if they could do good thing, I will come out and support him. And I did as I almost said this, my daughter. Almost said they not they talk to me again now because I did not waver. Forget it, tomorrow we come. When he want to rerun again, because this 2023, I mean 2023. Uh, three election. But most of them make it uh, chief daughter make it go go make it go go to law. What, what they call a chamber. You know what a chamber? Eh? You go to a chamber. If as a matter of fact, you should invite me for vacation so that we can just go to Ireland. Our angel here, we Baba, we chief. Hey, let, let allow Deco to let me remove this picture. Let's allow Deco to walk. Let's allow Deco to walk. So. You can see about Thomas. <laughs> oh boy, dear. Oh boy, he had the meet the way. We know what Pepe is. We know what Pepe is. He should Pepe them. Because these people, they know you will be fight for them. Come on to appreciate you. They will not do it. Come on to appreciate you. They will display your name for back. I go give me what you get in, what you get in. No boy, what you are dear. So, Abatoba said, need to thank Dennis Deco Idausa, Chief Omede, and others. Need to thank my, my family as well. Because a matter in Ottawa here, Dennis Ubiano, APC, and the OAPC big time. The OAPC, big time. Yeah. I might say, we never settled the bill. The bill, and uh, forget about the insult as I now have money. Uh, 
Oh, I not been on why I came to public domain and apologize to Obaseki. But he pried the warrior now. They wait for that uh, public apology to everyone, all PFM supporter. We are waiting for it. Uh, but I leave that matter because when once you see a son that is doing what you cannot do or what you are not opportune to do, you have to respect that person. Oh, I mean, oh, I not or no say on our way, no, 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 Saluba, my city, Gueu, Uri, or no one, or go need in a. Are we if now lay of via people when they work for the way he's working in Ovia? I mean, come on, look at it. Eh? Uh, look what Deco is doing in Ovia. Look what he's doing in Ovia. What if the Deco of Ovia? Eh? So, only man say no one more. Eh? See, I start talking about Deco no better here. Share why well, that video now we're giving on my your what this 2023 election of your people they have said it that's it anybody who want to waste their money in of your whether PDP or Abga they should go and waste their money so that is it I love everyone uh, we stand with the people uh, people of Ukraine uh, we stand with them and uh, I want everyone to go ahead and share this video if you are in Nigeria and you are in Ukraine please leave. Uh, we are begging President Joe Biden. They need to put a no flying zone, uh, no flying uh, uh, fly restriction on uh, on Ukraine. Uh, they should blockade all those airspace. The NATO, they need to put no flying zone so that the Russian will not be able to be bombarding the people of Ukraine. They have tried. They have resisted the Almighty Russia. You can see that Russia thought they can just run over them. Now you see. Look at their body. Their, Russian military are being packed back to Russia with body bag, dead body bag. You see what the Ukraine are, they resist them. A small country who have no weapon. Eh? And it turns to United States of uh, United States government and, uh, and the British who, who step up from day one. And uh, recently the German have promised and uh, other European countries. And I want to thank the Swedish who, who was on board right away and the Canadian as well. And uh, Joe Biden did a good job in that one. So we will applaud him. Look, look, I mean, imagine, look at what this animal called Putin did to this country. So we all should speak against it. Look what they are going through. If you are from this country, will you leave your children and allow Nigeria? Nigerians, eh, come and enter the train. Awa, awa, bagate water. Moku, they talk true. So you see, people, we are thinking, oh, racism, racism, everything don't be racism. We know what they did is not 100% right. But you should understand their mindset. They are, I mean, they are on that war. They are, their brain is not functioning right anymore. You know, for a Nigerian to be dragging or a, a Senegalese to be dra dragging their train that will carry their family out of Ukraine, it's, it's, it's not fair. It's not fair. This is war zone. So I, 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 I love you. I need everyone to go ahead and uh, share this video. And God bless you. Uh, it's time for me to go to work. I love you. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Destiny, I see you. Destiny, call me in about three. In about three hours. Oh, let's say four. Four five hours time, okay. If you have not slept, okay. So God bless you. I love you. Let me acknowledge those that are here. Oza is here. Uh, Sonny is here. Uh, everyone is here. Go to PFM page. Go and share and share and share. Invite your friends to like our page. Invite your friend to follow us. Invite. Go ahead and tag everyone. If really you 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 are with me. Go and share the link of PFM in every every of my follow. I'm gonna follow Apostle Dokasi to follow follow his page and uh, uh, follow his page. Uh, anyway, I will call him. We we'll see what we can do. Uh, you know, me. I want everybody to grow. So by now, if not uh, Abad and uh, those state government, by now my follower would have be if minimal it would have be three million. Minimum, it will be two point something million. But here I am. They are still, you know, it's okay. Uh, I do where uh, even on my bum, I am on Salubwa. So I love you. So for those of you, well, let me tell.
mostly Edo people, some of them. The Kenya warrior son. Because he was a boy, 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 he was a 